Hi, it's Enrique from Molanis VR. This is a quick overview of Molanis 360 VR video editor. Let's review the interface. On the upper right, we have a 360 video player. This player allows you to see your video while editing. At any time, you can change between 360 and AK rectangular mode. Now let's review all the options that are available for editing. We have text, image, effects, color management, reorient sphere to correct the horizon, 360 video stabilization. All these options are also available as icons. Under the view menu, you will find more options. We have the item list. It's a window that shows all the elements in a track. We also have the animation window. It shows all the information related to keyframes and animation. Now let's review the timeline. There you will find all the components of this project. Under properties. I'm going to hide the properties window for now. This is a multi-track timeline. As you can see, I have four tracks. I have two videos on top. Then I have the music. And on track one, I have my main track. To modify the elements in the track, select the track, then use your mouse to move the markers. For example, here I'm trimming the video and then I'm moving the markers to do some fading. Let's see what I have on the main track. I have a background, then I have a video transition, several videos and transitions, then I have some images, and finally another background. To show the items in the track, click on track and scroll down. As you can see, we have a number of items for this track. Now I'm going to edit some text. So I'm going to click on text. I see the properties windows for text. If I want, I could change the text properties directly from the window. Or I could use the mouse right click button to move the text around. Now I'm going to edit an image. I'm going to find one in the timeline here, the green one. This one has keyframes. It is an animated image. On the left, you only see the path to the image, but on the right, you have the animation window. There, you see all the keyframes with their properties. That's the way animation works. Every keyframe keeps the properties of the object. Let's see how it looks. Now let's talk about the effects. Go to the effect tab and there you will find a list of the effects that are 360 ready. So I'm going to show you one that is already working. See it's working, it works fine with 360. We have many effects there. Let's go to color management. So let me show you here how it works. It's there so you only need to move the slider around and change the color. It's uh, pretty straightforward. I'm going to close the animation window for now and I'm going to talk about reorient sphere. This is the one you need to use to correct the horizon or change the starting point. For demo purposes I created an animation with several keyframes. You can see how the horizon changes and the starting point changes. So let's take a look at one keyframe. To change the horizon, you just need to use the mouse up or down until the horizon looks great. Now I'm going to show you a quick demo of video stabilization. This is 360 video stabilization. For this, let me find my video stabilization object or item. Let's see how it looks. 
there. See the horizon looks fine. Now I'm gonna put it as inactive and see how the horizon is moving. I'm gonna put it active again and it looks great. Now I'm going to export my video. I'm going to click on the export icon. The first option there allows me to export my video using the same settings as the input. We have more options available. If you check more than one option, you will have multiple exports with different settings. As you can see, there are some options that are inactive because they require a higher resolution for the input. You could use the custom option to export using your own settings. Now let's check on the YouTube option and the custom option. You could change the format, the size, the number of frames per second, and the quality of the video. When you're ready, hit start. Look for a place to save your video. Change the file name and click on save. A new window will open. It's the encoding window. We are going to have three outputs with different settings. I'm going to cancel this process and we're going to talk about the layout. We allow users to create their own custom layouts. So if you don't like the way the screen looks, just change it. Just move the windows around, change the size. You could add more windows, drag and drop them. Just put it where you want them to be. They could be added as a new tab or you can move them as new windows. If you want to save your new layout, go to save current layout. Now we're going to move on and we're going to talk about a 2D project, a flat video from a 360 video. I am going to open a 2D project. I go to open project, I'm going to find my 2D project, it's here, my 2D project. Let's click on play. In 2D you are able to manage conventional images and text, so they don't adjust for distortion. You could also manage the 360 text and images. We have the same effect and color options, but in 2D we have something new. It's the player filter. That's the one we use to zoom, pan, move around, create little planets, go from little planet to mirror ball or to a rectangular. Let's take a look at the player filter. I only have one player filter with many keyframes. And in each keyframe, I have different properties. So if I go into the animation, you can see we have rectilineal, little planet, mirror ball, echo rectangular. Let's review some keyframes. Each keyframe has its own properties and projection. When you change them, you get amazing effects. For example here I went from echo rectangular to rectilinear and now I'm going into little planet. I'm going to move from little planet to mirror ball. I'm going to animate the mirror ball and then I'm going to use little planet to create an over capture effect. Let's click on play to see how it looks. 
Please remember to get this software from molanisvr.com. Molanis 360 VR Video Editor. That's all for now. Thank you.